everybody, I should say good afternoon. It is uh, about 1230. And Luna, what did we just go do? Um, get our Hatchimals and get a gift card. Yeah, we paid with a gift card. And where, tell everyone where you got the gift card from. Hmm, them Starbucks. <laughs> no, we, get, we did get Starbucks. We got whipped cream. But where did we get the gift card from, from being so good? Hmm, from the dentist. From the dentist. The dentist, every time we visit, they give you these two little pretend monies. Um, they're called Karen Bucks, because that's her name. Uh, their dentist name's Karen. And uh, once you get six of them, you can get a $5 gift card. And you get two of them each time you have your visit. And so we, they've collected enough, so they each got to get a $5 gift card. And, we get the and they decided to get these little Hatchimals for their $5 gift card. Can you show everybody? Wow. We have a, I have a dinosaur too. Yeah, you have a little dinosaur? Yeah. Look at Grinch. What? Look at Okay. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and head in. And uh, they're going to open their hatchimals and I'm going to get everyone some lunch. So Luna's opening up hers. Come sit right here by Sissy. You will open your Hatchimal. Uh -huh. Luna, I think, is just looking at the pictures right now. Yep. Rub the heart until it turns pink. Rub, rub, rub. Here, you want me to help you? Here, let me see your egg. You gotta rub, you gotta rub it till it's pink. Look, Mommy. Is it starting to turn pink? Yep. You can also hold, just hold your finger down on it like this for a minute and then rub, rub, rub. That'll help. See, Peyton? You gotta wait till it turns pink like this. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Let me keep helping. Now, what do I do? Look. Is it all pink? Like that? It's gotta be all pink. Mommy! Hold on. Mommy, it's not doing pink. Well, sometimes you need help. And then you poke a hole. Okay, Pay. Here's your first one. Can you do it? I will do our eight. Okay. Open it up, Peyton. See which one you got. Yeah. Mm. See which animal you got. I'll open it, Mommy. You can op rip open the egg, baby. There you go. <gasps> I hear that sound. Okay, this is making my hand really sore, guys. <laughs> Let me try to. I'm almost done. See, it's almost pink. Yeah. Almost ready. Oh, there you go. Open it up, see what you got. This Hatchimal egg and then nest. Keep ripping apart the egg, Peyton. Pull it off. You gotta break the egg. I see, Mommy, I see pink. You see pink? Show everybody what you got. One of them actually had little twins in them. <laughs> Baby, why are you fussing? You already opened them. Two little twin elephants. And then let me see your beaver. Let's see your little beaver. And Peyton's other one. This cute little beaver. And Peyton Luna's opening up her second one right now. Did you get twins again or just one? This one. Let me see. Oh, you got a platypus. Let me see. Oh, he's cute. Here. Here, you want to hand me your other ones so I can show everybody your other ones you got? Yeah. <coughs> I wish I could have more hatching. There's the platypus. Well, if you save up your money from your little jar over there, you might be able to get more too. And then she got twin little birdies. So cute. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah? You got cool little Hatchimals, huh? Yep. Watch your fingers, okay? You doing Sam's painting? What is that?
It's a bird. Okay. Girls are doing crafts. Hayden's doing stamps over here, and Luna is cutting up paper. I'm gonna head to bed and it's only a little past 10 um, my throat has been killing me and um, I am not feeling good at all um, I am I am pretty sure I'm getting sick which is not the time right now I need to get this sickness out of the house before the new baby comes and it's like mops is coming up and it's just like very very bad timing and stressing me out and tonight was just a stressful night with the girls i mean we were literally sitting down for maybe an hour and a half trying to get them to eat it was ridiculous like i definitely yelled when i shouldn't have but i about lost my mind tonight with those munchkins but um and of course now I feel like the worst mother in the world, but we all have those days. And it seems like when you feel your worst is, I mean, I think the kids feed off of it too. And then it just, if, whenever you feel your worst, it feels like they disobey more. But um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed early and try to get some rest. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. What the don't put the balls in the fucking camera. Say good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. Uh oh. Say good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning. You silly. Alright, good morning everybody. Excuse this mess of a hair right now. It's actually Thursday. We did not record yesterday. Yesterday was a pretty busy day. I have to sit here and remember what all we did. Oh, um, hold on, hold on. I'm talking to the camera right now, okay? Uh, no, not when I'm talking to the camera. Um, Luna had an appointment with her school just to do a developmental screening. So, <laughs> You got a hair? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't lean on my stomach. Oh, that hurts. Ow. Um, anyways, a developmental screening, which she passed. Um, it's not really a pass fail, but stop, please. Stop. And then right after that, we went to escape zone, which I'm going to tell you, I was very... Um, and then we went to escape zone because they were going to be open for about another hour. And I was very upset because there was a kid there. We were playing outside. And there was a kid there um, saying F you to his mom. And he like, I legit saw him slap her in the face and say F you. And, um, and then he started saying it to other kids. And it's just like, why... Why, why are you keeping your kid there if he's behaving like that, first of all? Second of all, why is he saying language like that? It's just, woo, rough. And then another little girl was walking around spitting at kids' faces. It's just like, and the mom's just, just sitting there watching it happen. I understand kids misbehave. Don't get me wrong, I completely understand. But it's, the moms need to correct that behavior, especially if they're just standing there watching it happen. But it is what it is. Um, and then it was time to go. 
and we were outside. They have this shed full of all these bikes and like play cars and stuff. Um, we had just gotten there. There's several moms outside, and uh, we took out one bike. But they and you're one of the things you have to do when you go there is you have to clean up after yourself, clean up the toys. They all left and left a nine month pregnant woman who only took out one bike to pick it all up. Like, really? <laughs> really, guys? Finally, when I was almost done cleaning, someone did come out and help me. Another pregnant woman. It was like, there's like three or four women there who were not pregnant, who did not help a single bit. I'm just like, I was very frustrated. Anyways, after that we went to Chick-fil-A and played with our friends, had lunch and played with our friends. Went to Hobby Lobby to get some stuff because I'm going to make, um... That shirt that says class of, you know, 2032, I think is what Luna's going to be. Daddy, and on the back, you do handprints of every year in school. Mina. Stop. So we're going to do that. So I got the crafts for that. And then <laughs> came back home. I had to watch Corey's girls for a little bit. And then um, after they left, we went to Starbucks to work on mop stuff. And I came home and went to bed. So, I mean, it was a very busy day. I was gone pretty much all day. And... I'm still not feeling well, so um, that was fun. So, and then Luna today, she was supposed to have her last day of um, preschool at the McCord CDC here before she starts her new school. And um, she's missing it because her tummy hurts and she's got diarrhea. And Luna, that's how Peyton started. And so um, we're assuming she has a stomach bug. There's something going on. Ba, ba, ba. And we're supposed to go to a play date, a mop's play ba, date ba, ba, today. Ba. And then I also have a mop's Mommy? steering meeting tonight. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my word. Oh my yeah. god. So, busy, 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 busy. I have literally something going on every single day this week. So there's really no time to just sit and rest. Say good morning. I got, um... Just fold them up. Roll them up. She, she doesn't like the fact that her pants are too long. <laughs> She's freaking out about it. Anyways, um, this is good morning from Luna Mommy. What you got going on there, girlfriend? I got some babies. You got a baby in the stroller? Yeah. And you got a couple of drinks in your stroller. We were putting together this snap and go stroller, and then we put the car sheet in it. And now she's a little mommy, huh? You're a big mommy. Yeah. She's probably. All right, guys. It is now um, Friday. Oh my goodness, I thought it was Thursday night. I don't. My head's all a mess. Um, but it is Friday night, and uh, I'm gonna head to bed here. As you can listen, my um, it seems like my cold has gotten worse. Um, also, what did not help is I've been crying tonight. It's been a rough night. Um. I ended up hurting my back somehow, and it hurts, and I pulled a muscle, and it hurts to even, um, walk. <laughs> like, that in combination with my hip pain is just a bad, it's just bad. Um, Jacob actually, uh, he works tonight, and, uh, he actually let them know, hey, I'm gonna be... They let him, it's okay that he was going to be late. He let them know that he was going to be late so he could help me put the girls to bed. Because it's just that bad. It's hard for me to do much of anything right now. Um, I was also supposed to have, go to a birthday party tomorrow. And I was going to get a free maternity shoot done tomorrow. Um, that I had to cancel on both of them. Because I just, my body, I feel like is breaking down. <laughs> it's just done. Um, and I feel like maybe this was meant to happen so that I could um so that I could cancel those two things that are happening tomorrow they aren't I don't have to go you know stuff that I can cancel on um I feel terrible about it I feel really bad about it but um I have to listen to my body because um I haven't had a day just at home um in maybe two weeks I don't I don't know um, it's like I'm constantly having one to two things to go to to do I'm gone all day and it's just it's taking a toll on me that's for sure and with the stress of our first mops meeting coming up which m more stuff came up with that tonight 
that's a big mess and uh yeah so i just i need a day of rest so uh and uh maybe this is just like i said my way body by my body is telling me to rest just in case because i don't want to, you know to go into labor early or anything because i still have you know a little over a week before it's um before i'm 37 weeks in full term so anyways with that being said you know my vlogs are still a bit of a mess i'm not really being consistent but um anyways i'll see you guys later bye